My name is Tom, this is The Enthusiasm Project, and today I want to cover the basic tools that you need if you want to 3D print. So whether you're just starting into the hobby or you've been doing it for a while, these are the tools I recommend. I think probably most people who are into 3D printing would recommend as your essentials, the things you really need to get started. So no matter which printer you have, you need to have certain tools to help you not only maintain the printer, but also just to deal with your prints and to help it print as effectively as possible. And some of those tools are simple things that you have probably lying around your house right now. Others are more specific things that you probably don't. Just to get started, this is basically all of the tools that I use regularly when I 3D print. You probably recognize some of these if you're into the hobby. First and foremost, simple stuff, pair of needle nose pliers. These of course already had, and most people already have these lying around their house. Good pair of needle nose pliers, pretty much essential. A glue stick. If you're printing on glass beds, you really need a glue stick. This is nothing crazy, it's just an Elmer's glue stick from the craft department at any store. A putty knife for getting prints off of the print surface. A set of Allen wrenches for maintaining the printer. Depending on which printer you have will determine which Allen wrenches you need. I always just like to have a kit that has a little bit of everything and that way, no matter what, you know that you're good to go. Now those four things were all things that I already had and all things that most of us probably already have. The other tools were things I had to buy specifically for 3D printing. For example, I wanted to finish my prints so I wanted to get a file so that way I could sand them down. I really wanted this small, like, precise file, but it came in a three pack so I had to buy two other files with it. I bought another skinnier pliers just to kind of get into small places and pull out filament and pull out parts and prints and things. I bought a small cutter to help really clip filament so it has that nice angle as it's going into the printer and that way it loads properly. I also have the high E string off of a guitar, which is the exact right size for cleaning out a clogged nozzle. And then my favorite tool, which is basically a piece of magic, which I had never used or heard of before I got into 3D printing, is a deburring tool. It's a small tool that has a blade on the top that you basically just slide along and smooth out your prints once they're done. So if you have sort of rough spots or edges or things, you can just smooth them out, cut them off really, really easily and really safely because even though it has a blade that's sharp enough to cut that, it's not sharp enough to cut you. This is such a cool thing. If you're, if nothing else, at least get yourself a deburring tool just because it's so useful and so neat. Now, the reason that I'm making this video specifically is because I've been using these tools for the last couple years and some of them serve dual purpose as my 3D printing tools, but also as like, you know, a putty knife for when you need to patch a hole in the wall. And I move my printers around a lot from home to work, work to home, different locations around the house. And sometimes I move my tools or I forget to take tools with me. And it's always been kind of a problem I didn't realize was as annoying as it was. That is until a solution was given to me. A couple weeks back, I made a video about these glass beds for the Monoprice Delta and Mini 3D printers. Those were sent to me by Pat from Dog River Tools and I really liked them because he made them specifically for those printers. They solved a lot of the issues I had when I was trying to make my own glass beds. Pat also got in touch with me and sent me out this toolkit, which he said he put together as sort of the essentials that you probably don't already have. So if you wanted to get into 3D printing, these are the tools you would need that you probably don't already have lying around your house. And this is a cool kit, it's about $23 on Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link down below, so if you wanna go check it out, feel free. Pat was also kind enough to give us some promo codes, so if you're watching this video, there's promo codes down in the description below. One of them is for 35% off, which expires at the end of August 2018, and the other one is for 15% off, which is just kind of an ongoing promo code. The reason that I like this kit, it's very, very simple. It comes in a little pouch, which is actually really handy. I've just been keeping this next to my printers, and then everything I need is right there. And if I move the printer, instead of having to grab all this stuff, I just grab this and move it. And everything is kind of just there all the time. And so what this kit includes is a semi-flexible putty knife for removing your prints. This isn't as sharp as the one I've been using, which is actually a good thing. It works really, really well for getting prints off of print surfaces but it's not as sharp as this one, which means you're less likely to damage your print surface, which I have done 
quite a few times using this one. I'm a pretty clumsy person. It comes with a really small file that has a smooth and a coarse side, which is great for finishing up prints and getting into small areas. It's kind of what I was looking for when I originally went out to buy this file. It comes with a few PTFE grease packets, for maintaining your printer. Comes with a really nice pair of tweezers that have a really, really strong point, and they're also angled in a way that makes it very easy to pick up parts and filament. These, I cannot believe I have been going so long without. They're much, much more precise than the needle nose pliers, and they're able to get into tough places much easier than the skinny pliers that I went out and bought myself. This kit also comes with five. These are kind of like acupuncture needles for cleaning out the nozzles. So instead of having to keep part of a broken guitar string around, you just have these here, they're in a little tube. There's five of them, that's probably more than you'll ever need. And then you can clean out nozzles if they get jammed or stuck with filament. And finally, last but not least, comes with its own deburring tool, which is so cool because again, this is one of my favorite tools. I really, really love this. And it also comes with a spare tip. So this is enough to keep you going for the foreseeable future in 3D printing, all in this one kit. There's a few things you'll still need that aren't included in the kit, like you probably do still need a pair of needle nose pliers, probably do still need a set of Allen wrenches. If you're printing on glass, definitely do still need a glue stick, but things like glue stick and pliers, you can get at almost any store. Something like these needles or a deburring tool or a really specific type of tweezers, much harder to come by. So. That's why this kit is really helpful. And I do wanna make it clear that even though I am, you know, advertising someone else's product here, the reason I'm doing so is because Pat just reached out to me, said I have this thing that I think is really useful for people who are interested in 3D printing. Would you mind checking it out? I really like it. I didn't realize how convenient it would be to have all these tools in one spot all the time. So regardless if you buy this specific kit or not, these are the tools that you need that are really, really helpful if you're interested in 3D printing. So if you buy this kit, if you piece together the kit like this on your own, or if you already have this stuff lying around your house, I strongly recommend that you have a dedicated set of tools specifically for 3D printing that you always know where they are, they're always ready to go, and that's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration. And for the most part, especially with the promo codes, this kit is actually a bit cheaper than it would be to just piece all of this stuff together on your own. So I just think it's something that's pretty useful that I wanted to share with you guys because I have been really using it. I'm gonna to continue to, and it's really helped me out. And again, the Amazon affiliate link to this kit is down in the description below with a few promo codes. You can save yourself a bit of money. So I hope that's helpful to you. When I got into 3D printing, I spent a lot of money and time and energy on stuff that I didn't really need to figure out the stuff that I did need. So I think that this is a good way to make sure you're not wasting your resources and you have exactly what you need. So please let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you have any specific tool recommendations, please feel free to share them. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing, you should subscribe right now. <laughs> and that's it. I really, really do hope this was helpful. I really do think this is a great kit that is something that's gonna save you a lot of time and frustration, so. Hope that's helpful. I will see you guys next time. I also got this little, whoa. oh my God. Did you see that? It's stuck in the table and now there's a hole in my table. So these are sharp. Well, now we'll remember this was the video that put that hole in the table.